Hey guys, this is Joan and you are watching Tech Career Network. Thanks for your responses on my last video which was on linking a real domain with a web hosting server. Some of you have requested me to make a video on SSL certificate to convert a HTTP site to HTTPS 1. Today's video will help you to convert a non-secure website to a secured one at free of cost and most importantly it will take only 6 commands. So let's get started. This is my Windows 10 PC and from here I will SSH to my Apache web server by using Windows subsystem for Linux version 2 or WSL2 terminal. If you want to know more about WSL watch out this video. Link is available in the description box. As this is an update video I will not waste time by configuring the Apache web server and all that. I already have done the basic Apache configuration in the previous video. If you are new to my channel, please watch out this video, link is available in the description box below. For now, I am quickly opening the configuration files just for a revision. The configuration files location is slash etc slash apache2 slash sites dash available slash followed by my domain name that is cloudlife4u.com.conf. And this is the configuration which I did in the previous tutorial. Let's close the file and open the website from my web browser. If everything goes well, it should open. So no issue with the content and the reachability of my website. As I told you in the previous video that my website is not secured at all. It is not prefixed by HTTPS or uh, it does not have any uh, SSL certificate installed. Today I will show you how we can uh, install a SSL certificate for our website or websites at free of cost. Let's do that. To enable HTTPS on your website, you need to get a certificate from a certificate authority or CA. Let's Encrypt is an SSL certificate authority that grants free certificates using an automated API. In order to install the SSL certificate, we will use Certbot client. It can automate certificate issuance and installation with no downtime. So our first step would be installing Snapd in our web server. The next command will ensure that we have the latest version of Snapd. The next step is installing Certbot client. Now execute this command to ensure that the Certbot command can be run from this web server. The next command will get a certificate and have Certbot edit your Apache configuration automatically to serve it. This single step will turn the HTTP to HTTPS. Here you have to enter your email ID. Then press Y to accept the terms of services. Here I will hit N as I don't want any periodic newsletter from Let's Encrypt. Now the important step. It has detected the hosted websites automatically. As I want both the domain names should have HTTPS as their prefix. So I will put 1 space 2 and hit enter. So you can see that I have successfully received certificate for both the URLs that are www.cloudlife4u.com and cloudlife4u.com itself. The next command will test automatic renewal for your certificates. So I got the success message and that's all guys. Now let's test the same from a web browser. This is the previously opened page of cloudlife4u.com which is not secured. Let's refresh the page and check. Very nice. We have successfully converted our HTTP website to HTTPS. 
Before ending up this session, let me add some more content in index.html file in my web browser. After adding the content in index.html file, let's now restart Apache service. Now let's refresh the web page. Cool, it gets updated instantly. Let's now check what will happen if I type www.cloudlife4u.com. The same web page should be served with HTTPS prefix. Excellent, this is also working properly. So guys, hope you have enjoyed our today's session. Thanks for giving your precious time to this video.